Hey everybody, and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Metroid. I'm your host, Pigman Level 72, and we're gonna get started off with a secret break. So, uh, usually in this room, this room, the bubble room, is kind of like a main hub for uh, North Fam. There's a lot of ways you can go in here, and it leads to a lot of different things. And one of the ways you want to go is to this uh, super missile door up here. But usually you need the grapple beam for some grapple points that are off screen. But, well, like, screw that. I'm just gonna use wall jumps to get up there. Uh, which can actually be relatively tough, because you're supposed to wall jump like, well, you're not supposed to. But you can wall jump off this wall, and then kind of wall jump off the pla platforms up there, and you are making this harder than it should be. So you just kind of, it is difficult to do. By the way, I don't think I've ever explained wall jumping. Pretty much you just want to go up to a wall, because it is kind of difficult. Go up to a wall while spinning, turn away and push A as you turn away. Because for a brief moment, you'll see Samus kind of face away from the wall, and you have to push A in that moment. Push it too early and it won't count, and push it too late, and you will already be away from the wall. So you gotta push them pretty much at the same time. Uh, it'll be awkward at first, but you'll get the hang of it, especially if you play the game multiple times. So, if this is, if this is your first time playing Super Metroid, uh, don't really, you really shouldn't use this as a guide, use it like an actual playthrough that goes the way Nintendo and Intelligence Systems intended you to go. Because really you only have to use wall jumps one time, and that's when the game teaches you how to wall jump. And I really don't know if that's an acquired area or not. I'll have to think about it. And can I make this jump, please? I know it's possible, because I've done it many times before. Ah, oh, I had it, and then I messed it up. Samus, please, just jump off the wall. Jump off the wall, Samus, jump off the wall. Come on, I'm wasting viewer time. They're precious time, they could be spending this in anywhere, and they're choosing to spend it with me. I don't know why, but they're choosing it to spend it with me, and I would love if you would just jump off this wall so we can move on with the video. Because I want to get this now, because if I don't get this now, I won't remember to get it later, and then it won't be a 100% run. Oh my god, Samus, please. Please, Samus, please. I'm begging you. There we go. Awesome. So in here, we got a, a fly guy, for one thing. Get him out of there. And we got a missile tank. Pretty cool. Just a missile tank, though. Nothing else. Yeah, I'm just gonna kinda shoot around. Boop a doop a doop, boop a doop a doop, boop, boop a doop a doop, boop a doop, boop a doop, boop a doop a doop. Oh! Oh snap. Oh, I'm in the thing! What is what's going on? Okay. Sorry. Anyway, turns out that's not that's all that's over here. We got a secret passage. And in this door, we got an entirely another room. We got things flying around everywhere. And in here, we got another thing, and that's the reserve tank. Alright, and reserve tanks do the kind of like, uh, fairies and, uh, The Legend of Zelda, if you had to get hearts for fairies to work. And, oh wait, there's another missile tank in that regular looking platform. Huh, so three pl- uh, you come into this room, you think, okay, there's one missile tank, but no, there's actually another missile tank later in the room, and a reserve tank. But yeah, reserve tanks, you load them up with energy, and then you can use them. Uh, so if you happen to lose all your energy, but you have reserve tanks, they will automatically refill as much energy as you placed into them. And each reserve tank can hold a maximum of obviously 100 energy. So I'm gonna head down over here, shoot these things, and we got another missile tank. Hey, look at that. Picking these up. Like, uh, like a fitting metaphor. Yeah. Well, actually, that'd be a simile. Whatever. Shoot up. I don't want to think about learning. I want to play video games. I want to play video games. Ah. Anyway, just gonna follow this tunnel into here. There's two ways we can go here. We can go down. 
and down will lead us to some pretty cool places. Or we can go, uh... We can go left. It also brings us to some pretty cool places. So if we go farther to the left, we're gonna reach this hallway. And if you look at your map, it's actually the same hallway that we saw at the other side of that wanted save point. So, like, cool. That's the other side of that hallway. But we still don't have the ability to go through it. So, uh, that's unfortunate. Now, these guys are pretty nice. These are fly guys right here. Because what they do is that there's a... Oh, sure, there's actually five of them that come up. But if you kill them before they all separate, you can kill five at once. Just one shot. And it really helps you uh, stock up on ammo and health really quickly. Also, we have a gate over here, but it's the wrong way, and we can't go through that. At least not yet. So, moving on. If you shoot down, going through here, this is where we're actually meant to go right now. We can go in here. And there's another room with these, uh, five floaty ball bed dudes. Again, another canon name. And, uh, that's really just a restock room. There's no other purpose to that room. One of the few game rooms like it. And here we got, uh, hands that throw lava and floating heads. Um, that kind of creeped me out when I was playing this game for the first time. Not gonna lie. Uh, we can go over here, in this suspicious looking area, but we got another one of these one-way gates, so nothing we can do here, and this is a yellow door, we can't open that yet, so uh, big waste of time, but there's a door at the beginning, so let's go through here, why not, we got another earth-shaped rising lava room, just shoot the ceiling, Past these, uh, Hadouken spitting guys. I mean, seriously, that looks like a Hadouken. Or Hadouken. Or however you want to say it. I don't care about pronunciations. Also, we got these cool guys. They don't hurt you. They're just carrying you across the lava. Friendly guys. They're bros. Except for this one. He would, he's gonna fall in the lava because he's not holding his own weight. Jerk. Call me fat. I'm a woman. You don't call a woman fat. It's a bad idea. I'll shoot you. Except for the time you to damage. Got a door here. But I'm going to ignore it. You'll see why in like five seconds. Because this room up here goes to the same place. And actually goes to a more important part of the room. So here's going to be a pretty big secret break right here. And um, by that I mean a pretty big fall. Perfect. Okay, so, uh, that's where that door comes from. Or goes to whatever you want to do. Those doors connect. I just wanted to show that off. Because I feel like you need to know. Now on to the, uh, secret break. That was totally all in plan. You just want to carefully step on these, uh, falling platforms. Open up the store. Jump in here. And get this missile tank. Pretty nice. And if you want to keep moving. Oh no, we need the grapple beam. So let's just jump and see what's happening and <sighs> sometimes this game this game he likes to troll me I'm trying to set up an example for the nice view of that home and this game is just like no I'm gonna make things hard on you and it's like game why you gotta be like that why you gotta be like that I have not anything to you. I have praised you. You are my favorite game of all time. What more could you ask from a simple gamer? And I, he's like, I don't even want you to hit this button. And I'm like, come on, game. Don't be like that. Don't be a love-hate relationship. Anyway, you jump. The spikes. It hurts. Wall jumps. Go around that. Pretty easy. I don't know why the developers didn't see that through. But you can come in here and get the wave beam way early. It's actually supposed to, uh get the uh, next item we're going to be getting, then get another item, then leave North Air and get another item, then come back to North Air, get the uh, grapple beam, and then get the wave beam. So that's like four more 
weapons we're supposed to have by the time we get the weight. But I'm like, screw that. If I can get it now, why wait? Alright. So, now with Wave Beam in tow, let's move on. By the way, the uh, Wave Beam, if I didn't already, I didn't already explain it, but uh, it can go through walls in this game and in all the 2D Metroid games. Oh, well, there's another Dragon Guy. Which can be useful if we're going through those uh, one way gates. At least the beam type. So, maybe there's more gates on so one way anymore. Also, it really helps that the wave beam does extra damage to uh, enemies at this point. Because now pretty much everything's a one shot. So here we come to a seemingly abandoned and dead end room, but you can just kind of jump up here and be like, nope, not a dead end. Also, there's another spawner for those uh, five enemy guys that spawn in groups of five. And uh, here we got a room where we're just gonna run down. Me being the uh, assassin compulsive guy, I gotta get all the uh, blue door, blue, well, all the squares pink, which means I have to go into these little pits because the map is annoying. And it's like that's part of the map too, and I'm gonna fall in lava sometimes. Because that's cool. And now, uh, we got a missile door. But before we look at that, let me just tell you how much of a kind of evil intelligent system saw with some of the missile packs. Yep, that was a missile. That bubble. That bubble right there. That inconspicuous bubble. That you would have no way of knowing is a missile pack. Is indeed a missile pack. Who oh, wanna funk it? So here we got the speed booster. Which is a pretty nice ability when it can actually be used, which is actually pretty rare. So now we need to zoom! Zoom out of this room! Because the lava's lobbing really fast. Lava's lobbing. Raising really fast. Oh, wait, I can get stuff from these guys. I forgot it. Ah, they restore your stuff so fast. It's amazing. Love it. I don't love when I fall on enemies, so that's not fun. Alright. So now with speed booster in tow. Now I say Well, it's actually not the speed booster that we wanted, but it's useful. Uh it's actually the uh wave beam we wanted because back in that room over to the left here, there was a uh, one way gate, supposedly, that uh prevented us from going to the left. But I'm like, screw that, I'm gonna go to the left right now. And uh, by the way, you're not supposed to go this way. Until you have many more things, like the grapple beam. Also, red space pirates. Weak to wave beam. It does take, does take a few shots, but whatever. So pretty much I'm going backwards through this part of the game. Uh, you can go to the right here. And there will be an energy refill. Which is pretty nice. And going past that, we'll get you to, to more grapple beam stuff, and we're not going to be going that way because uh, that's a lot of lava and pain to be going through, and I would probably die. So instead, we're gonna go to the left. And into this room. So we can go up here, past these guys. And there are two ways we can go. We can go up to the left here. We'll bring us into a big, big open room, which connects to an earlier room we saw from the main chamber under the uh, elevator. And the other door leads to a nice safe point, which is, in my opinion, a good place to end the video. And actually this recording session. This is all recorded in the same night. All the uh, LP up to this point. So uh, if there was like a question in the comment and I haven't adjusted in video yet, that's because this was all recorded before I knew about that qu uh, comment's existence. But I'm just stalling for time here, so uh, next time on At the Place of Metroid, we'll be delving deeper into Norfair where we're not supposed to even be yet to see what we can break about this game. While Samus does her awesome dance.
See you guys then.